Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great and for anyone new to the channel as always, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. Today we're going to be continuing on with our VGC Series 9 content and playing a team based all around the brand new Reggies and what better way to wrap the week up with than Reggie Drago and Reggie Alecki. So, as you can see the team here uh, based all around these two new Reggies, obviously both different kind of Pokemon in their own right, but both do a nice job at kind of overlapping with each other as well. Obviously, Reggie Drago struggles a lot against fairy type Pokemon, so that's something that we need to be very mindful of going into games. But the power that it can put out is devastating if it's in the right position. So hopefully we can get some nice clean sweeps with it today and kind of pilot it off. But you've got a nice support and cast of Rillaboom. It's got fake out support, grassy terrain support as well. Getting rid of things like misty terrain helps out a bunch against stuff like Tapu Fini, of course. So it's a real staple with something like Reggie Drago there. You've got the Landorus as well, which can come in, provide intimidate support which is useful and um, helps out against things like uh, the big physical threats that are going to be a bit of a problem for Reggie Drago and Reggie Lecky to deal with. And then we've got Tailwind support, which is going to be a big, big draw for Reggie Drago. You want to be hitting before your opponent, of course, most of the time. And the instant Tailwind support that you can get with something like Tornadus is imperative. Also gives us Taunt to try and mitigate a little bit of that Trick Room weakness we've got running through the team. But then you come down to the last Pokemon, you've got Reggie Steel, which is going to be a Pokemon that can kind of carve out win conditions on its own. We featured it at the very start of the week. Week. so it's wrapping up the week in style with Registeel it's Registeel week here on the channel I'm just making that up but uh, yeah it's a very nice Pokemon obviously helps out again with those fairy types that are going to be so uh, awkward to deal with pairs up nicely with Reggie Drago as well and like I say with that iron defense and the body press combination it can perform very well under pretty much any kind of speed tiering as well that we see from players at the moment so as always the poker piss is down in the description we'll have a couple of games of the team now as we always do hopefully pilot it and give it a real good showcase and then we'll wrap up with the rental code at the end of the episode if you want to try this team out for yourselves on the ladder so without further ado friends let's get into the first match of today's episode first up today we have a Cresselia stack attacker Torkoal Whimsicott, Hatterene, and Venusaur team. So not the best for Reggie Drago, I will admit. There's two fairy types on there that are going to cause us a few issues. Of course, probably both of them kind of looking like they're going to lead as well. You know, either the Tailwind uh, from the Whimsicott providing what you would imagine probably maybe Sun, maybe Fake Tears. Definitely Tailwind support for something like uh, the Venusaur. Everything else kind of enjoys Trick Room though, doesn't it? And you've got, well, three Trick Room setters, potentially you've got, well, four really. You've got the Cresselia, the Stack Attacker, you've got the Whimsicott, potentially, and the Hatterene as well. So it's a real awkward team to kind of go against. But the one thing you, oh, it is a very awkward team. The one thing you would say is like Landorus can do a pretty good job against most things here. Got to watch out for that GMAX Smite though, which could come out from uh, the Hat, obviously, at any point. And then the Fire type attacks really make things difficult for Reggie Steel to get a kind of grip on the game. Ah, oh, this is awkward. This is very awkward, actually. I think Lander is a big player for us here. Um, obviously, Grassy Terrain going to be a big thing for us as well. I think maybe... Hmm, maybe Reggie Alecki is not a bad player. Oh, no. Let's go Reggie Drago. Let's go Rillaboom. And let's go Reggie Alecki. No, let's go <laughs> Reggie Steel, I think. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We've got three Reggies in our team. Which one do we bring? I think Reggie Steel might give us a little bit more stability. It gives us a better switch in against the hat that could come up uh, as a lead, which I imagine might we might see. Um, obviously, it's difficult with the fire types in the team, like Torkoal, going to make things very difficult for Reggie Steel to kind of perform super well, but um, maybe a bit better than than, than Reggie Lecky here. So let's see. Let's see. Torkoal Venusaur coming out for me, opponent. This is where tor Tornadus would have been ideal, wouldn't it? But the one thing that you can say is that, like, some teams do struggle against Assault Vest Landorus, like, in a big way. We can protect Reggie Drago, turn one, uh, and we can go for a max airstream into that Venusaur. Got to worry about potential uh, being put to sleep, though, and I don't like the idea of that. But if they go for the Sleep Powder, if they go for the Sleep Powder, then we go for a Dragon Energy. And at least we get some return off, right? I think that's probably the best outcome overall. So, got the Dragon Fang on Reggie Drago. We could have went for a Protect here. Do you see the Torkoal switch out? Hat coming in, maybe? No, Cresselia. Huh. Are they going to max, though? That's the big thing. 
Doesn't look like they're going to max. It looks like they're going for the sleep powder. Uh, but they're going to miss. I'm going to say it now. We're going to call it. They're going to miss the sleep powder. We've not had a miss with a sleep powder on the channel for a while. Feel like we're due it. Feel like we deserve it. I'm visualizing it like we like to do. And it's going to happen. And this land arrest is going to make this game very easy for us to close out. Sleep powder. Oh! <laughs> Would you have called it? Would you have called it? The psych. Psych. Psychic powers come into fruition. Now we're going to be able to see this dragon energy. How much is this going to do to this uh, to this Cresselia? Let's see. Boosted dragon energy. Bo -bo 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 -bo. I love Reggie Drago. It's such a cool Pokemon, isn't it? It really is. Okay, well, we get very fortunate. The RNG, very kind. Damn. Okay, that does a ridiculous amount. That This is going to be a very quick game, I think. Yeah, we get lucky. We get fortunate. We do. I'm not denying it. Uh, but we did will it into uh, into reality. That's what I will say. Okay, stack attack coming in. You got to worry about um, phew, ally switch here. A hundred percent ally switch in trick room. Do we call the ally switch in trick room and just go for a dragon energy? Let's do it. Let's do it. I think we got to do it. Come on, let's see the ally switch. It's all Cresselia does, right? Is ally switch. So we're going after the Cresselia with it. We could look very silly here if we don't see an ally switch. Oh, I don't think we see an ally switch at all. I really don't. I don't think we see it at all. Stack attack are going for the max. Going for the max. We're not in the worst position to go for this play because, you know, we're going to get the Cresselia whatever. So Lana is not super threatened, you know, here. And I don't think the stack attack are going to be able to take down Lana in one hit. Ah, okay, that's not ideal. That's not ideal. But it would have been cool if it. We would have got the style points if it paid off. Max Quake not helping. We look, we look pretty dumb. But uh, we'll see what the stack attacker does. At least we know there's no trick room coming out in the rest of this game. At least are they going to go after a revenge kill onto the uh, the Drago? No, they're going after Landorus. Mad, you mad boy. Right, let's see. Tokol, the last Pokemon, right? Not going to enjoy. Oh, well, I mean, it's pretty easy for us here. We just click max quick. Dragon energy. I don't think Toko's going to enjoy dragon energy. One little iota. So, dragon energy. Max quick. Should wrap this one up. We still got two Pokemon in the back, which hopefully will be enough to kind of close this one out, potentially. I don't know if max quick now with a plus one defense will be enough, especially if it's got the Shooker, but yeah, not quite. But dragon energy might be enough. Reggie Drago going to be able to potentially sweep this whole team here if this if this could oh there's a weakness policy the weakness come on Let's see reggie drago let's do it oof oh it's the, i think the stack attack has just held on with the sliver sliver oh no it hasn't it hasn't okay i thought it had i thought it had i thought there was like the tiniest little mark but no reggie drago picking up literally every knockout in this game did it? Did it? Pretty sure. No. No. Did Landorus get Venusaur, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can't can't give it everything, but it did pretty well there. Good game to my opponent. Like I say, very fortunate on that turn one, that sleep powder miss made things a, a, a way easier for us to, to manage with. Although at that point, you saw the Torkoal switch out. Landorus got the free knockout onto the Venusaur. Uh, it would have been... It would have been... It wouldn't have been plain sailing, but it would have been all right to deal with from that point. Uh, but very good game to my opponent. We'll jump into our next game of today's episode. Okay, up next we have a Kingdra, Dusclops, Incineroar, Glastria, Politoed, and Rillaboom. So we've got a Rain Call here, paired up with a Trick Room Switch with the Dusclops, Glastria. So a nice combination of Pokemon for sure. Uh, Reggie Drago um gonna be all right although the you know the one thing that you would say is that the kingdrick does cause a few issues for us here um in particular but you could kind of carve a win condition out with reggie drago against that rain court i just think that the kingdra will probably outspeed reggie drago i'd imagine you know yeah it's going to be able to in the rain which makes it difficult so we can't really utilize it's not like we've got another way to change the weather we've got a way to to, to maximize our speed of course tornadoes coming in here can really help us out with regieleki as well 
Uh, we just really... Oh, do we make ourselves really weak to, to Trick Room? I don't think so, because I think we just go Reggie Steel and then um, Reggie Drago in the back. Yeah, I think we lock in with this. So what we're trying to do, I think, here is predict that they lead Polytod Kingdra. And then we go Tailwind, Electro Web, and then we get Reggie Drago onto the field and just start dropping Dragon Energy. Um, and that should deal with most things. <clears throat> next to whatever we've got left between Reggie, Alecki or Tornadus. Um, but not seeing that at all. Okay. Well, it's still not too bad because we can adjust our position here and get Reggie Steel onto the field. Um, and try, like, do we taunt the Dusclops or do we just preserve Tornadus? I think we preserve Tornadus for later on in this game. And we Volt Switch out uh, onto Incineroar. Yeah, because you've got to you've got to you've got to fake out you've got to fake out the tornadoes if you want to get your, your your trick room up. Um, do we want to get? Yeah, we want to get Reggie Lecky off the field, I think, and we get Reggie Drago back out, 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 out. So, yeah, so trick room fake out is what we'll see here, I would imagine. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'll switch, and then yeah, that's some. Tasty old damage there with that magnet on the Regilecki. Such an absolute monster. Um, yeah, and now we get Reggie Drago onto the field. Um, what's Incineroar going to do, though, this next turn? It's probably going to go for a parting shot to get Glastra on the field, but it does give us the opportunity to get uh, an iron defense up, you know? Um, and that makes it very difficult for the Glastra to kind of function when it comes onto the field. So... Trick Room up. Do we go for a Dragon Energy now? Oh, it's very tempting. It's very tempting. I, I can say that. Iron Defense. <sighs> yeah, I think we I think we attack now because I don't feel like it's like one of those... I don't feel like it's a good opportunity. It's a good time to protect. It might prevent the Incineral going off the field, but at the same time, I think... Probably better just going for some damage now so we can protect the following turn, especially if the glass ray comes onto the field. Because then, yeah, we don't want to be in a position where we have to attack and we're going to lose uh, Reggie Digger on the next turn. Yeah, and the parting shot coming out. That's fine. That is fine. You know, the nightshade and the parting shot definitely weakening uh, our dragon energy, but any sort of damage at this point is quite nice, especially after the, the iron defense that we've got up. <clears throat> And I think the big main, the aim of the game is to try and just get as much damage onto the Dusclops to kind of prevent another trick from going up in the late game. Uh, okay, well, we've got the Iron Defense up. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. I think we're going to have to maybe go for another Iron Defense. Or is it better maxing at this point? No, I think we got another Iron Defense, and I think we go for another Drag. Uh, the problem is, do they chase down the Reggie Steel at this point, or do they go after the Reggie Drago? I don't think they worry about Reggie Drago too much here, because they can go for another Nightshade. We could potentially drop a Draco Meteor onto it, but I can't really switch anything in at this point. We need to kind of see out these Tailwind, these Trick Room turns. We got too many of them, so maybe, maybe we go protect this turn, like we were initially talking about. They are maxing, which makes no surprise to me. I think the biggest problem here for us would be potentially Haze coming out. Uh, and then Max Quake. That wouldn't be ideal. Like, Haze from Klops would be pretty bad right now. And it's definitely something that players are utilizing, taking advantage of. So... Let's see, we get the Protect off. Nightshade coming out into Reggie Steel. Are they doubling up into that slot? Max Hailstorm now. They're going after the Drago. So we are going to get another um, body iron defense off. Whew, it's so much damage. So much damage. Wow. Okay. Well. Is a body press now going to be enough to get that Glastria? I really don't. Uh, I don't know, I don't know if it will be. They probably double up into us this next turn anyway, I think. 
Or do they? I don't know if they do, to be honest. Oh, how many turns of Trick Room we got left? Two, I think. I think two. Two turns, yeah. Oh, plus four. Um, all right. Well, we might be better off just protecting here. I just don't want to give the Glastria kind of a free boost. Whereas we could just go for a body press here. And a Draco Meteor, I think, as well. And if they double in on Reggie Steel, then we can kind of punish that. Oh, and that's the worst. That's what we don't want to see. That is not what we want to see. That is not what we want to see at all. Max Quake is probably going to get Reggie Steel now. Yeah, the his. I'm surprised they. Yeah. <sighs> Okay. Okay. It's all going to come down to Reggie Alecki now. <coughs> um, Reggie Drago going to get a, a Draco meter off, which is useful, um, but not 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 the best outcome here. Um, we can bring Tornadus in. Taunt. Ah, uh, yeah. I think this is gone. 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 Hmm. Yeah. Because, yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty... Uh, we can't... Mm, mm. Okay. Well. We taunt. We taunt. And we we have to protect, I guess. Or we just go for a Draco Meteor into, into Dusclops. Try and get some damage there. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to do this now. Because a knight shared, and then yeah, a knight shared into Reggie Drago from the Clops, and then uh, uh, Max Hailstorm into Tornadus. Unless they double into it, potentially, which gives us another Draco and a way to shut down the Trick Room. But then it's it's difficult from that point because then you're bringing in Reggie Alecki from our side of the field. Reggie Drago's not really got any damage output left because we'll be minus four. Ooh, ooh, Max Guard. Huh. That's an interesting one. Didn't see that coming out. If Reggie Drago goes down here, that would be phenomenal. I don't think we'll see it, will we? Oh, I don't think that was the right play from my opponent. I think that opens the door up for us. Tornadus now going to be able to really cap capitalize on this position the dust club's not really being able to do very much at all i can't understand that max god um okay reggie alecki right well we just get rid of the, the glastria now yeah get electric terrain up the air slash uh where's my thunderbolt i just need to make sure we're clicking the right one yep we might be able to do something now then, potentially. Because uh, then they've got Incineroar, which will drop because it's taking considerable damage already, I'm pretty sure, to Regieleki. So it just comes down to what my opponent's last Pokemon is, I guess. Um, I think he needed to attack the Tornadus that turn. I wonder why they didn't. Strange. Strange, but it's happened. There must have been a reason for it. Get the electric terrain up, which is good. This won't take down Dusclops, but if you get a flinch here, that could be even better for us because then it just prevents any additional kind of night shade damage coming on uh, to our side of the field. So, air slash. You're not doing enough. Night shade, but not doing enough either. And the hill chipping away at everything, breaking our sash, which is already broke. Um, and that does clops eking ever closer to a air slash knockout. And it's just about this incineral comes in. If it is the incineral, which you would imagine it will be with a fake out. Yeah. Right. We should be able to remove the incineral this turn. Or do we actually go after the dust clops here? Because their taunts aren't going to last forever. And they're going to fake out. But then again, I don't know if we see a fake out from the incineral here. I think they probably go for an attack or a parting shot. So it's better that we just get rid of it. We get the cancel. So we do. We pick up another victory, which is excellent. Okay. Well, <laughs> in in a, a game where I didn't expect us to do very much, two quick games today. 
but two really really fun games and i think it shows the team can function in really tricky situations i think it would have been a lot harder to close that one out though mind if the uh the glass Raid just attacked that last turn i can't really understand that but I mean, my opponents obviously got their own train of thought for that and it may have been a misclick as well so we don't know so we can't really make too many assumptions but good game to my opponent and we'll jump over now and get you all the rental code for today's team Okay, friends, here is today's rental code, and I hope if you do try it out, you enjoy it. The double, re well, the triple Reggie's on here, obviously with the Reggie Steel there, but the two new ones from Sword and Shield making up the kind of centerpieces of this team, Reggie Alecki and Reggie Drago, they're the absolute powerhouses that they are, and uh, like I say, if you do try the team out, let me know down in the comment section. I think it's a very volatile team, um, but you've got to just be very brave brave in your convictions with your move choices and make sure you're getting returns every time uh that you're going to be attacking in, in a bad situation if you, if you get what i mean so let me know down in the comment section though if you do try it out and uh, we'll wrap it up then we'll not take up too much more of your time but thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode as always have a great rest of your day and a great weekend and we'll catch up with you next week on the channel for more vgc action so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye